Hi guys, so today I'm going to take a look at a technique called layering. Now, layering, what layering is, is when you would add one or more sound, well, two or more sounds together to make the, the riff or the drums or, you know, whatever you're working on sound better, you know, and bigger. This is used a lot in the likes of EDM, stuff like that. You will see quite a lot of, um, you will, you'll hear quite a lot of noises that sound really big. Nine times out of ten, they're laid with a few different sounds. Um, and it's, it's not a speaking synthwave, but you can still use it to, you can still apply the layering technique to synthwave. Um, so when would you use, when would you use layering? Well, what I've got here now, it's got a little drum beat that I'll play for you. Now the snare, I like the snare, but the problem with this snare is it's a very short snare. So I like the attack, but it's very, very short. And because this track's only 85 BPM, I'm going to have to do a couple of things. I'm either going to have to change the snare to, to find a longer snare, or I'm going to have to add effects on it, like big reverbs and, you know, to make it sound bigger. Or what I can do is I can layer. So what, I'm, what I've actually got here is I've got another step snare. Now this snare... It's the, the main part of the snare, so not the attack, but the main part of it sounds really good. So when you put these two snares together... It sounds a lot bigger. So that's one way you can apply it to, to to snares. You can also, you know, even if you wanted to, you could even clone it. Pound one left, one right. And then just move it ever so slightly forward or back to give you a real stereo sound. So you could then bring them back in the mix to 14. And you've got the real wide sounding uh, snare. So how could you apply it to simps? So what I've got here is a little simp app. Okay, it sounds pretty good by itself, but there's, what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer it with this, this little bell sound. Now the bell sound itself sounds like nothing, but once you put them together... Okay, so next I'll show you a technique with layering kicks. Now, a lot of EDM producers would tend to layer their kicks. Um, so why would you want to layer a kick? Well, you might have a kick, for example, where you, like, say, for the example, this one here. Which has a great, you know, it's, it's not, it's a great attack and a great, like, sound, but there's no bass to it at all. So then you might find another kick where, you know, you've got... A great low end but you know there's not much attack there so you could layer these together and play more together like this what you could also do is you even go into this with uh, an EQ and then you could EQ say for example the bass out And then you could go to this one. And you could just sort of keep the best part. Another advantage to doing this as well 
is you then have control over the top of the kick and the base of the kick. So if you think you know you want more base in it, rather than going and start messing around with EQ, you just turn up your base part. And again, if you think there's too much lot, too much sort of high end in it, you can just turn it down. So that's a, a couple of different techniques in layering. You can also layer leads. So if you, you have a lead in that you you know that you like, but there's no high end in the lead, you could then just add another lead in, cut all the low out of it, all the bottom part of it. So let's say for example we like this. This just say for example we like this. But let's say there's no no low end in it. You could then add. You could then add another layer in. And you can say so you go into this, and you can take out any of the frequencies that you don't really need. So you can take out any of the frequencies that you don't need, and just have, just maybe have the high end, and then add that back in. So again, that's just a quick a technique called layering. You know, I suggest you try it yourselves. Um, you know, see what you can come up with. Again, so if any of your sounds are sounding weak, rather than go straight to the EQ and start, you know, massively changing, because EQ really you shouldn't really be messing around with EQ too much. So if you if, if you're you've got a lead and you you know your EQ is looking like this, you know, on your lead, then you know there's something wrong somewhere. So the best thing to do, rather than add this massive boost, it would be to layer it. So add another sounding that has a lot of high ending. So find a sound that you like the high ending, and then. Again, when you're playing them, don't necessarily play them separate. Because if you play them separate, you know they might sound absolute rubbish separate. But it's when you put them together, so always layer sounds together, um, to so you can you can hear when you you know when you audition them in your track, play them together so that you can hear, um, you know you know hear them together. Because that uh, that in a sense in essence that's what you'll be doing. You'll be playing them together. You know you won't be hearing them separate. Um, so that's about it really for this one. Um, I'll catch you guys next time.